so I never filmed a wrap up for July oh my goodness it took me a moment to think about that then um so I never did a wrap up for July so I'm just gonna mix July August bash all together I don't actually know how many I read in total between the two um I know that we'll be going through a lot of books in this video though um so let's go so I read 19 books in total between the two months I don't know what the breakdown is um but I did read quite a few short stories um but I will say that although I've read 19 books over the past two months um my currently reading is still 26 so I'm gonna work on that but then another video um so let's begin from the bottom so the first book that I finished was Off to the Races by Elsie Silver this is the first book in the Gold Rush Wrench series I rated this at four stars this was I enjoyed this um this is your like rampy sunshine if if you've read the Chestnut Springs series the couple is kind of most like what um Willa and Kade are um that's kind of what it makes me think of um in terms of like the grumpiness and her like banter and her playfulness so if you enjoyed Willa and Kade I would definitely recommend I didn't write any comment um I probably did enjoy it more than a four stars but I can't remember too much um and this like her chestnut spring series is a interconnected standalone series so you could read it in any order but actually late the last book does definitely spoil some stuff um about the three book uh, three books previously so i would recommend reading them in the published order then i read the exception to the rule by christina lauren which is part of the improbable meet cute series um what i'm gonna say is i actually don't really remember these um i think these were more of a i read them because i could and because they were gonna be quick um but i this isn't gonna be something that i think about ever again um but i rated this the four stars apparently um yeah then i read worst wingman ever by abby jimenez um i rated this a three stars it was probably more like a three and a half um again don't remember too much then i read rosie and the dream boat which part by sally thorne these are all part of the um meet cute series um i rated this four stars um i then read drop cover and hold on by jasmine gillory um rated this must have been three and a half stars um i'm just i also read the with any look by ashley poston again must have been three and a half stars and the final book the royal Val royal valentine by soraya wilson rated this must have been three and a half stars so that's the whole series i don't think i read them all in order i must have finished something in between but that's besides the point then after that i finished a photo finish which is by Elsie Silver, so book number two in Gold Rush Ranch. I rated this for another half stars. This is Violet and Cole's story. This is kind of the one that I, in some ways, I was most excited for in terms of like the whole series before I read book number one, just because Violet is the Eaton's little sister. Um, so she's kind of like the link between the two series so i did want to read hers like the most but i was like of course i'm gonna read book one first i'm like i'm not a psychopath um but yeah i enjoyed this um definitely had some like i guess unique elements like it, it's not something you see too often in a story in terms of like the couple and how they first met also i will say for this whole series there is definitely like a it's quite like tame in a way like you can tell that the author kind of grew into like writing like moments between couples whereas there's definitely more of like it's low stakes which to be fair i do did enjoy like the spice scenes in this more i found them like less cringy um because that was 
a co the odd comment I made about books in like the Chestnut Spring series. I haven't yet read the Rose Hill series but I definitely want to and I do own book one. Um, then I read the, got the Front Runner by which is book three. I rated this three and a half stars. Um, I think so this was Mara and um, Stefan. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Elements. I just I don't think I connected as much. Um, but it was still a good book. Um, then I read Everywhere You Look, which is part, which is a short story. This was by Liv Constantine, but it's part of the Never Tell collection. All of the authors in that collection are like different, um, so like similar to the similar to the Improbable Meat Cute series. Again, I don't really remember this. I think short stories are ones where I'm like read it as a like to read it but I know that I'm not gonna think about it again um then I read part of your work also oh the everywhere you look I rated must have been two and a half stars well or two I rated it two stars on here I clearly just obviously didn't really care about it at all um then I read part of your world by Abby Jimenez I rated this five stars. I absolutely love this. Did I bring this with me? Yes, yeah, so I brought this with me. Um, I absolutely freaking love this. I, I didn't really have a highlighter, not highlighter, like, well, a highlighter or a pen, but there was something I highlighted towards the end. Okay, so one of the things I highlighted was love follows you, it goes where you go, it doesn't know about social divides or distance or common sense. It doesn't even stop when a person you love dies. It does what it wants, even if what you want is to not be in love. I just, yeah. I think that, I think I only grabbed the pen towards the end. Oh no, I've got something else. When she called, my mood lifted. When I saw her coming down the driveway, my heart would pound. When she was here, I slept better. When she was gone, I was sad. She felt like the sun, like she was the reason for everything, like I'd always been waiting for her to get closer and bring me light. Like, I'm sorry. I think that must have been the only two things I highlighted. Um, und well, underlines, you know what I mean. Um, because I always, like, I do have quotes that I, like, love. Um, I want to, um, read yours truly. I have the Kindle version, but I kind of want to buy the physical book. Um, at the same time and I'll probably end up just reading the physical book um, but I own too many books and I recently bought like 13 plus I bought two today um, so yeah but I loved this I loved the writing style I loved the moments between um, the dilemma wasn't a miscommunication trope so if you're like thinking oh do I want to or oh, do I want to read this? Is this like a miscommunication thing? It's not. Um, so for anyone think basically the dilemma is quite a real one for their like life situation. And I did kind of guess what the solution was going to be right from the start because um kind of obvious, but it's so nice. So so nice. Um the second book is with um, Alex Alexis's like friend and part before I read like what book number two like the couple of book number two I thought that Brie was going to be with someone else like one of Daniel's friends um, but she's not um, so that's definitely interesting but I definitely know that I will want to read just for the summer as well. Um, but I haven't yet done my TBR for this month. I didn't do one last month, but I'm thinking I'm going to do one for this month. And in that, and in my TBR jar, I have got a few more prompts that I want to add. But in my TBR jar, there is a Go to Waterstones and Blair book. Um, so if I got that prompt, I would go to Waterstones and buy yours truly. Um, but here, we, but now that I've spoken that aloud, I'm not going to get it. But I would highly recommend like. And if you live near 66 books, 
on the next weekend that it's open the book is currently still there previously i swear to god yours truly used to be there but i recently went and um it wasn't so i was really sad about that because that was kind of one of the books that i was hoping to buy whilst there because i swear to god it was there back in december when i first went um but it wasn't but i love this again highly highly recommend then i read lovers at the museum by isabel allende i read this born stars it might be a one and a half um this is almost a bit like a fever dream um it was like 40 pages um so it was a really quick thing um it was just it was weird is all i'm gonna say then I read People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I rated this five stars. Now, it did take me a long while to um, get through it because I used to just keep putting it down. Um, I don't have it with me, but I loved it. I loved it more than Beach Read, which is saying something since a lot of people enjoyed Beach Read. Um, but, and don't get me wrong, I enjoyed Beach Read. Like, I actually did. But... I didn't enjoy it as much as people we meet on vacation like I loved Poppy and Alex and I think it's because I'm like a sucker for like friends to lovers second chance romance kind of thing and I just and also it was like technically multiple timelines and I did enjoy that like you were kind of counting up so you were you had the odd like current timeline and then you had ones from like each year leading up to that year um so it was so nice um highly recommend wish i had it with me but i've got enough books to read anyway then i read a full star in the gold rush romance series which is book four um i read this four stars um i enjoyed it it was nice i don't think I had too many thoughts about it um i think i will definitely think about the chestnut spring series a lot more than what i will the gold rush ranch but i kind of wanted to read the gold rush ranch series and i do want to own the copies of them because i think maybe eventually if i go back and read them i might have a newfound appreciation for them then i read all in by jennifer Lynn barnes this is book three of the natural series i rated this four stars this follows um sloan and like well it has more of a focus on Sloane um and it does uncover some stuff about Cassie no does it no no and it starts off the kind of like plot like book four continue like the plot of book three continues into book four but there is still like an ending to book three um but it extends further into book four um i enjoyed this this is like again quick read series i will eventually buy like the physical copies because i do really enjoy them. i did really enjoy them um yeah then i read bad blood which is book four again i read this four stars i liked how everything wrapped up um how they closed that case um some stuff that got revealed and it was just it was nice i enjoyed it I also liked how it kind of touched so Leah didn't have any like in the first book it was focused on Cassie book two had more focus on had a focus on Dean book three was Sloan and then book four kind of combined um Michael and Leah which I'm kind of glad in the sense that I'm glad that they have covered the background of everyone because obviously they're all part of this team and we all want to know their like background um yeah i did really enjoy it um then i read the 12 which is the naturals like novella afterwards like it's like 4.5 um this follows the group years in the future and it does have like a link back to a comment made in like the first book i think it was or book two um so it was really nice to like see that um and again i really enjoyed it and also it showed like how everyone was doing like years later like relationships and certain stuff 
and so it was really nice to read i rated it four stars then i read the ghost writer by Lorith um white i think um this must have been a short story i rated it four stars do i remember absolutely not um i love how i rated that four stars and then the book that is above it i remember more of quite funny um then the final book that i read was half a soul by olivia atwater i rated this must have been three and a half stars um i enjoyed it it kind of took me a while to properly get into it and i started reading it in march during my starting a new book every day that was basically why i didn't do a tbr last month because i was trying to get through some stuff but obviously i did start stuff like all in and bad blood weren't on my currently reading but they came on to kindle unlimited and i was like i need to read these um so yeah if you're in the uk and you've got kindle unlimited or you're thinking about it um you've got the whole natural series on there um and actually having read that series does make me want to read the inheritance games um i do also have the kindle version of um is it like little white lies or something like the debutante series um i have both those on kindle so i do kind of want to read those as well um but yeah those are all the books that i have read currently i did recently change my um goodreads goal so like my challenge um so previously so at the start of the year i had set it at 25 obviously hit that changed it to 50 i've now changed it to 75 currently i'm 12 books ahead of schedule i don't know what my end up goal like my goal like my end goal will actually be like i could end up extending this to like 100 books i don't know um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what books you read last month what books you're wanting to read and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.